Oh, hi guys! Gaikosha9 here with Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the last episode, uh, we did some stuff in the Shadowlands and got our final party member of the game, Jolie Bindo, who is right here. And in this episode, we're going to continue along with the Shadowlands and hopefully get to the next... Yeah, I can't go in there. That yeah, I'm trapped. <laughs> hopefully get to the next area. Uh, let's see. I think that continues onward, so let's go down for now see what else is in this first Shadowland area before we go on. Let's see, you... Oh, you're, well, you're a corpse, so that's good. Uh, ooh, 99 credits. Not bad. Alright, let's see. Looks like this is a complete dead end here. <laughs> it's kind of funny when they make the noise. Alright, so that's a dead end, so let's go this way then. Roll around with lightsabers. I noticed that there's now two green lightsabers out. Hmm. Bored. Yeah, there. Oh, here's a broken droid. Let's see. Malfunction. Primary motivators are incapacitated. Error. Damage terminal. Playback. All right. I don't get it. That merchant said there was a salvage on here. We need molten to work the sensors. When he gets back, we'll wait. I'm getting something. Oh, it's Eli. Good. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Eli, what the? But you got your money, you double-crossing saying We had a deal! Pew pew. <laughs> uh, let's salvage what we can, I guess. Shutting down, primary system failing. You start with the droid's head, removing it and placing it in your pack, and energy discharge flows through the remaining parts. Ow! It actually hurt! Jerk. Oh, yeah, that's why those names look familiar. They, they talked about the uh, guy. And basically, what we just found out is that guy that enslaved that one other guy had the had his friends killed. That's why his friends aren't coming, basically. <laughs> Anyways, let's level these guys up, and let's get going. So yeah, there's uh, another side quest that we've gotten dealt with, and more Katarn, so... Looks like over here's another uh, dead end. There might be something here, though. Die. Die for me. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Okay. Jolie's not doing so bad, actually. He's a little bit hurt, but I mean, that's to be expected. He has less HP than Oh, now he's getting his butt kicked. <laughs> Luckily, I have heal now, so. Definitely recovers a lot more, and it should keep Jolie from dying. If I can kill these guys. There's one. And there we go. Oh, there's another one. Jeez. There's a lot of katarns over here. There we go. Yeah, I should see if Joel Lee has healing moves in his own. Because I probably shouldn't be wasting all of my force. And yeah, this is another dead end. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, he just has cure for now. Let's get this, though. Corpse. Let's see... Uh, more credits, I guess. Alright, so not really anything worth of value here. Like, there's that droid head that we got, but... Beyond that, there's really nothing down here. Huh. It's actually surprising. You'd think there'd be something there. Uh, is that the dead end? Yeah, that's the dead end. Okay. So we want to go this way. And get ourselves into the other thing. Yeah, see, like, this is what I'm talking about with, like, getting all the side quests done pretty much here. I don't know, caching seems to be a bit more ordered to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Concussion grenade. Okay. <laughs> Surprised I didn't see that before. It's, I guess it's really dark here, though, so, like, it's kind of hard to tell where things are. So I guess just keep going on the triggers when it comes to, like, the controller. Because that does allow you to label stuff. Alright, well, here's the Sonic stuff. We've already looted this place already, so... I believe that's all All that's up ahead is just a, just a barrier that goes into the deeper parts of Kashyyyk. Got a long path, though. Not surprised there hasn't been another enemy. Some tax. 
You're kind of funny. Yeah, no enemies. A few more mines, but no more enemies. Huh. But yeah, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? Although, it's kind of interesting, because it looks like it's been there for a long time. Like, it actually kind of blends into the thing in a way. Like, it's it's seamless, I guess that's the word. The Shimmer Repulsive Field is visible before you. It stands out in stark contrast to the foliage around it. There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerga equipment dumped out. And it actually looks like this stuff has been, been here, been here while, like literally a, a, a part of the tree. Which is kind of interesting. Had an easy time of it, though. Uh, why place a thing here? Well, well, there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. All right, just turn it off. Uh, well, you said so. I can manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerka engineers do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashik. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager. Alright, we just get shoved into the uh, second area already. And if I didn't know better, this might actually be it for Kashik. There might be one more map screen, which would have like minimal stuff in it, but this might be it actually. My memory's a bit foggy. Then again, I suppose my memory's a bit foggy just because of the surgery anyways. Oh, well, something's going on in here. Something that involves swords, it looks like. Oh, jeez. So Mandalorians. I don't think I need the catch on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You go, Wookie. Time to save him. Look at him, though. Never underestimate a Wookiee. Aw, oh, you stunned him, you jerk. Aw, oh, now you stunned me, you jerk. Yeah. Oh, well, you're dead now, so... That. Stop stunning my friends! There we go. Oh, there we go. Um... Yeah. Ooh, he nearly died. Hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> I don't think he's programmed to die, though. Oh, well, never mind. Great Baka, let this house be different than the slavers, I beg you. Can you heal my wounds? An attack from nowhere. Please, I need to be healed. Can't you? Yeah, sure, dude. Well, what happened, though? Please, I need... Okay, you're not gonna talk to me, otherwise. Here, get healed up. I, I thank you. I would not have expected an outsider to aid me. Perhaps... Perhaps you will help me again? My hunting party, all of them, killed without honor. I barely survived. I want the murderers to suffer the same. Uh, what can you tell me about them? I've never seen their come before, not even among the Zerka. You saw them, armored head to toe, yet blending with the forest. If you call it that. They followed us for a long while. We found bodies to the southwest, and again further south after the west branch of the path. Their speed was amazing. They fought like outsiders, waiting until we were unarmed. They would not attack unless we had put our weapons away. They strike like cowards. I'll look into it. Thank you. I will wait here. I'm too late to fight them again, but I refuse to leave the Shadowlands unless vengeance is sated. Please, if you kill them, I will reward you with whatever I can. You're not worthy of life. Look for them where the bodies of my fellows are. They will only attack you if you're not armed. The cowards. Alright, so let's get this guy's stuff first. I could always use more repair kits. So yeah, um, this is uh, pretty much the last of the uh, side quests down here. There are a couple of Mandalorians, and that guy has a lot of analogs to that one guy we met on Dantooine. Like, it's pretty much whenever the Mandalorians fuck with anyone. Oh, here's a few Wookiee corpses. Alright, so... In order to get these guys to come out, you have to do the annoying thing of disarming your weapons. Like, actually, literally, physically taking them off. And I think I need to take them off of everyone in order for it to work. What? Uh... I was expecting it to trigger. Hello? Mr. Mandori? Anyone? Eh. Well, let's deal with it later. I'll 
I'll deal with some of the business here first before I... Uh, I want the other one. Yeah, because it has its own thing. Let's, uh, let's clear out this place a little bit first. Like... I'm gonna have to find all of our blasters again. Uh, let's see... I want that car thing. Ooh. Uh, whoa, those are actually really good! Here, let me put one of those on. And, uh... Let's see, 3, 6... 3, 10. Okay, this is better. And I, I should actually give Jolie some stuff as well, shouldn't I? If I can give him anything. Let's see. Uh, some fortitude, uh, some will. Doesn't... Oh, well, I can give him that. Alright. Well, not much, but alright. Well, we'll deal with the Mandalorian stuff later. Of course, first off, got some enemies to clear out of the area anyways. <laughs> Oh god, there's quite a bit of these guys. They're poisoning me again. Okay, please die. Oh, wait a minute, did that just... I think heal just cured me of my poison. Huh. Here, I'll just slice you up. Get you out of the way. It's taking a lot of damage. Alright, let's try it again. Is well Yeah, Kira doesn't do anything. Yeah, but heal yeah. Wow, I I did not know that. Heal cures you of poison. Huh. How about that? That's actually quite convenient. Alright. <laughs> well here's some swoop bikes. The swoop bike is warm to the touch, it contains a single device on it, however contains no field data. Oh, this one's different. Uh it's missing its signal device. Uh, oh, looks like we have to find something to use that. Alright, well, yeah, obviously, you know, Mandalorians are here. Uh, let's see. Continue along this way. I think this just loops around from that one little thing. Uh, let's see what this goes down to. And nothing so far. Oh, well, there's a mine. Oh. Oh. That's... Yeah, we... I I should save this for later. Th this is... Uh, I'm not gonna get the mine. That is actually the end right there of Kashyyyk. Or rather, like, as far as we are concerned. Because that's actually the star map right there. <laughs> I guess this is the last screen. Well then. Yeah, let's just, let's just forget we saw that for now. Oh, more wikis. Alright, you know what? Let's... I need to get this tri thing triggered sooner or later anyways. Let's see... Alright. Yeah, I think everyone has to be, uh, unequipped. But the thing, disarming made the only way to fetch them out. Yeah, I think I have to disarm everyone. Alright, so let's try this again. What? Alright, maybe if I walk around. Or like, maybe if I try to leave them. I don't know. It's not really triggering. Come on! Oh, there you go. Yeah, I guess they do have to leave the area, or try to leave the area around where the Wookiees are. Now, I really hope I can re-equip- Okay, I can. Good. <laughs> yeah, you can re-equip yourself right before the battle. That's good news. Alright, so these guys are not going to unstealth once you re-equip your weapons, I think, if I remember this quest correctly. Alright, Zabrak, and then one of those Mandalore pistols, and then green lightsaber. This is the annoying part, having to slap everything back on. Alright, and let's kill these guys. If I can hit them. Come on. Alright, it, it, it'd be really good if I could stop missing. Oh wow, mission! Jeez. Mission of Joel Wages. And uh, Joel Wages stays this that guy. <laughs> Alright, now I'm trying to hit him. Alright, and um... Uh, I did not mean to do that. Again, okay, I don't really ever use those anyways. Uh, Alright. You gotta have remains. Yes, you do. Okay. Ooh, assault rifle. Nice. 
Let's see. There's a data pad. A journal entry. Uh, they also get uh, uh, the further they're swaying the favor. Okay. Not that that really helps us. Oh, there's more remains. Oh, it's a data pad one. And something called a ripper. Huh. Alright, let me see what's in these data pads. Oh, right, they're right here. Let's see. Uh, stamp, a uh, stump disabled, disabilized, stump my smooth, because far as before the systems failed, the generator goes, my blending field will stop working, I'll be visible to prey. Let's see, the hunter's challenge. Unarmed people to chance to use these Jedi toys. Let's see. Alright, so this guy's just, I guess this guy's just complaining that they have to fight people. Yeah, why only attack unarmed opponents? Yeah, so these guys are kind of complaining that their leader has told them to basically not touch anyone unless they're unarmed, so that's kind of weird, but... Oh, well. At least I know how to trigger those guys now, though. Let me go back to that one spot. Rather... I don't know. Let's just keep going. Let's keep adventuring. Because there's going to be stuff around here. Yeah, I'll leave that other area alone for now because I'll lost both there. Just do bikes and then the end of the planet, so. Okay, that's it. And, oh, here's another one. Looks like this is another dead end right here, too. Oh, let's see, so many people getting poisoned. There we go. Alright, all set. Uh, yeah. Looks like it's just a dead end. Got this heal so I can catch poison. Oh, these guys have remains. Wait. Their body? Huh. Don't remember what that's for. Obviously, it's something important, but... Let's see, let's go this way, because I think this might end to a dead end as well. Or no. I don't know, let's just follow this path. Let's see where it goes. This whole place is complicated. Oh, there's someone. Is that the Wookiee? Oh no, this is Freyr! Oh shit! More Usurker core rats. There's even the heart of Kashyyyk not free from your kind. He's almost feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Freyr. We're friends. Don't you remember me? After he is in the Shadowlands, I remember only that the outsiders are not to be trusted. I'll see you dead! Oh, can we not? Well, this may prove difficult. Fighting time? Oh shit, fighting time. Okay. Uh. Alright, so I think this is what they mean by the cra- uh, This is what Chundar mean by the crazed guy down here. It's actually prayer. Oh god, what's going on back there? Is he throwing grenades? Oh, there we go. I, I am beaten. Take my head, Sir Gavil. You won't get another chance. So it's worth Freya or Kashi. Not here to kill you. That's <laughs> not sense his regards. No, I'm not gonna here to kill you. The words of outsiders are tainted with lies. You can't convince me otherwise. I think you I think you just rhymed there. You know Zolbar and Jundar? What? Those are the names of my sons. But they are lost to me now. One exiled, the other a traitor. Hold on a second. Zalbar and Shundar are brothers? And you're their father? Wait a minute, does that mean Big Z is some kind of prince or something? Could be. Why do you speak the names of my sons? How do you know them? Tell me! Uh, let's see. <laughs> Shundar sent me to kill him. <laughs> I can't believe it's Zalbar. To my shame, Zalbar was exiled and enslaved. Do you dare claim to be my son's owner, outsider? No, he wife dead me. Does he? Then he sees something of worth in you. I will listen cautiously. Gullibility has worn harmed me in the past. If I had seen the lies of Chundar, we would have been exposed as a slaver. The so Vizalbar would not have been exiled. Exiled? Big Z never told me that. Of course, he never said he was royalty either. I did not believe Zalbar's claims. I believe the elder boy, as tradition dictated. The shame of Zalbar's attack blinded me. All right, what exactly happened? Zalbar saw it first. He learned that Chundar was dealing with the Zerka, leading them to our hunting parties. 
Shundar would blame disappearances on the dangers of the Shadowlands. The Zalbar was crazed when he found out. He attacked Shundar with his claws. I thought he had gone mad, shed his honor, and was bound by the old ways. So he was exiled. When did you learn? A year later. By then, Shundar had spread lies of my own madness. I had no allies when I confronted him. He and his Zerka guards attacked me. I had to retreat to the deepest Shadowlands, but even there they followed. That's when I first saw him. I helped his pursuers lose him for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Yes, I think I do. I'm sorry for attacking. It's been so long since I offered my trust, or accepted that as someone else. Alright, uh, other questions. Uh, why would Chandar want you dead? Well, as Zolvar is back, perhaps Chundar is worried the people will realize things are not as they seem. Chundar has established himself as the leader that succeeded despite the tragedies that plagued his family. If it was shown that he conspired with the slavers, his honor would be gone. I wonder... Uh... Anything else? What happens now? <laughs> yeah, what happens now? This depends on you, Kaiju. You either kill me or decide that I may yet benefit my people. There's a way I might challenge Shundar, but it would take a lot to convince people they have been lied to. Uh, how? Everyone's on his side. He has a strong web of lies, but if I appeal to the traditions of my people, I may be able to gather support. There's a legend of a great warrior from the old times. Baka was his name, and he is greatly revered. Baka found a crashed starship, our first hint of life elsewhere. He was cautious, old book, and feel the <laughs> cautious, old book. <laughs> he constructed a viper blade from the wreckage. It was long symbolized our independence. Only destined leaders had held it. Where is it? That's the problem. It was a symbol of our great chieftains for centuries, but it was damaged a generation ago in ritual battle. Here in the Shadowlands, Rofrar fought the great beast. He saw a challenge, but his arrogance got him more than he could handle. He survived, but the blade of the sword stayed in the creature's hide. Our tales say it was taken because we had become undeserving. The hill is still in the court of our chieftain, Chundar. If the blade could be found, Guy Truvac, tradition could cast doubt on his rule. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Many have tried to hunt this beast, but only a few have seen to live to tell a tale, and none, none have ever managed to kill it. Many years ago, when I was far younger than I am now, a Jedi came to hunt the creature. A proud and boastful young man, like many before him, did not return. The beast is cutting. It will not appear if there is an overwhelming number waiting to slay it, but if you gather in small numbers, we, may be, we know how to lure it out. Fresh blood will draw it there. Before Chundar's rule put an end to the ritual, fresh kills were often left as offerings. Oh, so I guess this is what the bodies come in to play with. There's a place of ritual south of here. If the great beast is duly lured out of hiding, it must be done there. You have already collected the body of a viper king. Yeah, there we go. So, we already... <laughs> we're a step ahead, I guess. I will stay here to think about what I have to say to Zalbar. And seeing as how this video is over 23 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. So, this is Guy Gush and I with Let's Play Star Wars Nazi Republic. And in the next episode, we're going to go hunt after this great beast and hopefully get the Blade of Baka. So I will see you then, guys. Waka waka. <laughs>